just want to show you how to reconfigure the COM ports for declaration of the V2 LK8000 software uh, to uh, declare your task on the Colibri um, uh, logger. Um, first of all it's crucial that you do the switching over quite fast so I will show you and demonstrate the sequence to follow um, to make a successful switchover from uh, 19,200 bits per second to 4,800 to declare and then go back to uh, flight modus LX160 at 19,200 um, so the way to do it I will demonstrate right now so first of all we will prepare the uh, configuration uh, on the COM ports on the LK8000 software so we will select the Colibri Nano as um, a device uh, that's a device that we will program we will prepare, we will set also the right baud rate so we are now at uh, using the Colibri uh, Nano and we are at 4800 then it's crucial that you are once you switch over the button of the multiplexer into the in the airplane uh, once you switch over you do the close of the screen on the LK8000 as soon as possible so we switch over we go immediately to close so we will see when it's uh, it get a confirmation um, that it's successful once it will tell you you will get baro altitude from the Alex. This means that the Colibri is providing now at the right speed 4800 4, all information for um, for the GPS. This uh, also means that if we now want to declare so by going by navigation the second screen we will uh, task edit um, we will be able um, to declare the, um, the flight that we want to do on the Colibri. Um, this Colibri is an older type so it's only uh, possible to program it in 4800 bits per second. So um, just demonstrate I will do go to declare it will ask yes do you want to declare I will push now the yes button you will see what will happen on the on the unit so it's being connected it beeps it's confirming now it goes in timeout as the uh, declaration sequence is closed so on the LK8000 you get the confirmation that the task has been declared so everything is in there your pilot settings of the LK8000 your flight your uh, polar your uh, plane you're flying with the class of your plane everything is declared at once um, close um, so you see still a good connection between the uh, LX or the Colibri and the LK8000 at 4800 bits per second if we now want to go to flight modus this means flight modus we have we will switch over to LX160 this will enable you to give feedback from your um, LX160 um, feedback from my credit settings onto your screen and also to get from the flarm uh, the radar function function so you will see uh, all flarms in the neighborhood and their average uh, climb rates so uh, to enable that you will have to switch over once again to LX160 flight mode at 19200 bits per second um, so that's on the mix so we also will prepare the switch over on the screen like we do right now um, we go to system setup like previously we are of course at screen 8 devices we will switch over to the LX160 we should select that as a protocol then we next to that we will select the right speed so we are at 19200 bits per second also here it's crucial that you go very fast over to the mix switching and the port switching so we will see you will do switch and switch also here you will get the confirmation that it was successful so it will get you 
Yes, uh, so you are available of park borrow altitude from uh, the well LX160, so that's confirmed. So you can uh, now you're into flight mode, you will see that all screens are available. So what you the check that you can do here is that you have the fourth screen and this is then the Flarm radar screen. Uh, that's confirmed that your Flarm is also communicating to the LK8000 next to the uh, Colibri uh, providing the info uh, through the well, LX160 system, uh, 160 system Vario um, to uh, the LK8000. In the case of an uh, emergency, can demonstrate just as an, an additional uh, uh, switchover. If the uh, Colibri would not work, you could go over to a Flarm setting. So you can also go to your mixing on the Flarm. So the way you should switch over this thing is that the speed will not have to be changed. You want to go back to configuration screen 2, set up select the right device so for the flarm setting you just go as a generic device so the flarm uh, accepts the setting uh, the speed remains at 19200 so also here crucial we will switch over and switch over in that way so the confirmation is immediately there you will use all information gps and altitude barrel settings from the flarm Next to that, if you do that switch over, you will have also the, of course, the radar function on your LK8000. Good, so the, those are all configurations that uh, you could set with this uh, combined system, providing uh, exactly the same fact functionality you have on uh, LX8000 systems but on a much uh, cheaper uh, solution. Okay, thank you for your attention and speak next time.